hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel on today's video i share with you two recipes for my christmas eve dinner so if you're still interested please continue watching hello everyone my name is Mari dominguez and if you're new to my channel welcome to a little bit of everything where i share with you easy diys recipes and a little bit more so please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. With that being said, let's begin. Alrighty guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you my version of potato salad. And you see here I have five red potatoes. Usually just serve, depending on the size of the potato, one potato per person. That's what you chop up. And I have here three eggs, a cup of peas and carrots, mayonnaise. Of course, you add salt and pepper to taste. And... Yes, guys, I must add my apple. I know there's a lot of people that don't like apples in their potato salad, but I love it. And you can add anything else you like. There, You can add the onions, the peppers. You can even add, I know people that add pineapple. So you do you, guys. This is just my version. Okay, so once you've scrubbed and peeled, I always like to leave some skin on my potatoes, so don't mind me. That's just me. Remember, I say you do you. This is my version. You're just going to chop it up into about one inch pieces here because I like my potato, my potato salad to be a little lumpy, not to be like, um, like a mashed potato, you know what I mean? If you know what I mean. So, so yeah, so we're chopping them up here and then we're just going to put them in a pot of salted water and we'll add the eggs in there also so that they um, boil together alongside with our potato. But I don't know if it's happened to you guys. I sometimes have forgotten to add the eggs. And I have to boil them separately. Yeah, but that's me. I'm sure you guys, that hasn't happened to you. Anyway, we're almost done chopping here. Then they'll be ready to go into boiling water, which I already have. On the side. And we will be adding... That looks like a lot of potato, right guys? Yummy. about you but one of my favorite salads is potato salad so this is part of our christmas eve dinner and i just wanted to share with it with you guys all right so let me move the camera on over here let's go on to the little pot water's already boiling our potatoes we'll add our eggs and we'll let those boil down there I would say probably about 20 minutes depending on how you like your potatoes how tender you like them or not so we'll be back Alrighty guys, so here are our cooked potatoes and now we're going to start adding our ingredients. Now, for those that do not like the feel of the onion but like the flavor of the onion in their potato salad, you can use um, onion powder. Shoosh! You can use a little bit of onion powder and um, that's to taste guys, so don't mind me. Now we can start adding on now our chopped apple and our peas and carrots. And just 
just fold them in there nice and gently because like I said I like my my potato salad chunky not mushy not too chunky not too mushy just just right all right and now we can start adding in our mayo don't worry guys I do have some more air on the side just in case now you do mayo as much as you like also, okay guys? Don't go crazy like, oh, she's putting too much or she's putting too little. You do you, you do you. So I have like three, let's do that amount and then we'll go from there. Let's just mix that in there. I just love the colors that come through. I know that there are people that also like to put um, celery. You can put celery. You can put... I, I know of people that actually will put bacon or, or king crab. I mean... I think that, you know, it's all up to you. However you like to eat your potato salad, you do you guys. All right, now. We're just going to chop up the eggs and throw them in there. And we'll put this in the refrigerator. Yummy. Oh, yeah, you do see black pepper there. I will be putting some black pepper. Just chop these puppies up in here. Like I said, I had only three eggs. And this is optional too if you don't like eggs in your potato salad. That is your choice, my dears. Also garnish it with some paprika or some cayenne pepper whatever you like to put up on top even just like the red peppers the canned red peppers or jarred red peppers which is pretty mu much what us Hispanics or Puerto Ricans do alrighty guys so there is my potato salad Looks yummy, doesn't it? Mmm, can't wait to sink my teeth into that one. And here we go again, guys. I'm trying out a new recipe with you, with you. So what we're going to be using are some meatballs. I have here some fully cooked turkey meatballs. I have here barbecue sauce, cranberry sauce, and my favorite, adobo vadilla. And what are we going to be doing here? Cranberry barbecue meatballs. Yay! Alrighty, guys. So, in my mind, this sounds delicious. This tastes delicious. And, you know, I pray it is. We'll be using one cup of the barbecue sauce, half of the cranberry sauce in the can because it's, you know, not too many of us. And we'll just be filling here the pan the bottom of our baking dish 
with the meatballs mix it all up in there pop it in the oven so we'll be right back Alrighty, guys so here's half of the can of the cranberry sauce and correction i used half a cup of the barbecue sauce use a whole cup or a little more if you're using the whole package i'm only doing half a package so yeah we we'll just mix it in here as best we can don't forget that the meatballs are frozen you can do fresh meatballs or you can do veggie or turk or uh, beef meatballs whatever you like guys you do you like i always say you do you i just really love the flavor of the turkey meatballs and and these are pretty good so hence the reason i'm doing these Sorry guys, a phone call came in. So now I've stirred the sauces together, mixed them well in there. Now we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay guys, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. So let me move over the camera so y'all can get the whole visual. And here we go. 30 minutes you can set the timer if you like and we'll be back alrighty guys here comes a moment of truth my oven beeped that the meatballs are ready and oh my god they look so yummy oh my god this smells in my kitchen right now guys OMG Oof. I hope they taste as yummy as they look guys I really do Know what I want to try. Hold on a second. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Mmm. Oh my god, guys. Y'all definitely have to try this recipe out. It is delicious. Well, guys. That'll be all for today. I've shared with you my Christmas Eve dinner recipes. Obviously, there will be something else along the way, but these are new recipes that I wanted to share with you guys. So, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to um, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Sorry, I'm kind of like salivating here. These are so yummy. And like I said, guys, Merry Christmas. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay blessed with your family, your friends, your loved ones near. Stay safe. And blessings to you all.